Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we are back with another video. This one, we're going to be talking about finance and and building wealth and, and what it takes and how any and everybody can become wealthy, can become a millionaire, can make a lot of money, and can have some success and have streams of passive income and stuff like that. Anybody. It's not some, oh, I got to be a YouTuber. I got to be a basketball player. I got to be this. I got to be that. Um there's a lot of opportunity out here. And I feel like people are just in the wrong mindset. I think everyone tries to keep up with the Joneses. Everyone tries to impress one another, have the best clothes, have the best shoes, have the best things like TV, has have Hulu, Netflix, all of them have, you know, actually most of the people I know, they, they're, they're borrowing someone else's. But, you know, like you get what I'm saying. Everyone wants the flashy cars, the flashy homes, the you know, everyone wants these things that may not necessarily serve your higher purpose when it comes down to actually acquiring the wealth or financial status that you're looking to acquire in life. When it comes down to building money, and this is a lot of stuff that I learned, I've learned from my mentors and people a whole lot more successful than me. You know, I've touched a lot of money throughout my life, but I also have a lot of bad habits. So I've lost a lot of money in my life. Um, I, well, not, not really bad habits, but I, I'm, I am willing to risk. I, I'm high risk. So I'll risk a lot to learn a lot. And then after I learn a lesson, I'll have to, you know, I'll have to rebuild, you know, and, and that's been a, a consistent theme and pattern in my life. I've never had a, a dad or a, any male that I've been really, really, really close to in that way or somebody who could teach me about finance because no one that I know where I'm from has, you know, has finances or has, uh, you know, you know, no, we, we, we come from a little, we come from a, a little and I want to be the the one who helps turn it into a lot or a little into a lot and kind of stop that repeating cycle of everyone struggling. And what I've learned from many mentors, because I have been blessed to have met so many great mentors and have so many great people around me now, it's it's the little things. It literally is the little things. You can become a millionaire from a McDonald's check. And that's not what people know. That's not what people are going to think. But the thing is, no, you can't work at McDonald's for one week and then go out there with the club, go out there to the club with the ballers and start trying to spin, throw, throw your McDonald's check and think that you're going to become a millionaire like that. No. And actually, if you become a millionaire in the ways that where it actually takes a lot more effort, takes a lot more time and discipline and stuff like that, you're not going to want to be throwing your money in a club because you're going to know what it took to earn yours. Everyone can't just write a nice, catchy lyric and, you know, get some crazy check and have people singing along and become insanely rich off of that. Everybody can't do that. Using a McDonald's check, you would have to invest. You would have to keep your bills down to a minimum. That means living below your means. Like that means having the discipline and the courage to live below your means for a long time. That means, ah, I want I want to buy this. I want to buy this. Um. I want to buy some Wendy's. I work at McDonald's. I want some fast food to eat, but I want to buy some Wendy's. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to buy no Wendy's. I'm going to just go get some lettuce from the house, you know, buy some ground beef, make whatever, whatever, make whatever I'm going to make, buy some fry. Boom. I can eat off this for a few days. Or I'm going to make a boiler of spaghetti, you know, like, and not that these is the healthiest choices, but this isn't about health, but make a boiler of spaghetti that can last all week. You know, I can eat off the spaghetti all week. And that's what I'm going to do. So instead of sitting here spending my money on this stuff, that's a one time, oh, eat that, spend all this money for it. And then what's crazier now is the DoorDash. DoorDash is crazy. But I mean, I'm, as a dasher, as someone who dashes sometimes, you know, I, I, I'm OK with it. But it's not it's not the best decision for you. But I think we all know that what's best is that you go out, you get you some food that's going to last and you save the money that you can save. You save, save, invest. Um. The game is simple. The game of building wealth, the game of making money is very, very simple. It's all about having more assets than you have liabilities. That's it. It's really genuinely that simple. If you have more assets, you're going to make more money. And in your asset, like, so instead of buying the new iPhone, buy the iPhone stock. So when that stock goes up in value and they drop the newer iPhone, you're going to make money because instead of buying the iPhone, you bought the iPhone stock. You bought Apple. You bought Apple stock. So when they drop the new iPhone, you're making money now. You know, buy, buy, buy Target, buy, buy, um, buy some of these. Other. So as these companies send out dividends and stuff like that, you're getting paid for holding the, holding the, um, you know, holding the stock. 
this is what it's a, build businesses. Put your put your money into business. You like you like cooking, you know, cooking a little bit on the weekend. You you like to cook, you like to have fun, you know, make good stuff. You you make good food. Sell some plates. Sell some plates on Facebook. You know, ha have a little, you know, make a little you you can you can have your money working for you. Like instead of spending your money to you know, maybe have a feast, invite your friends over and have some big party. Maybe you can still invite your friends over to have some big party, but say, yo, y'all got to support this business and buy one of these plates. I know you ain't going to be, the people ain't going to want to hear that. Like I, just to come over and chill with you, I got to buy a plate. Like I know they ain't going to want to hear that. I know how people is, but, or just do something more, you know, more, more, um, wise and just go sell plates to some people. Make your money make money for you. You're supposed to be making money while you're asleep. It don't matter how much it start at. When you when you getting five dollars every few months from holding stocks, it's not it's not gonna be something crazy, but it starts to add up. It's, it starts to add up. So the more you start to invest in assets, the more you start to invest in assets and get rid of your liabilities, the the quicker you reach your goal of financial freedom. And the earlier you start, the better because everyone isn't going to have these insane amounts of money to throw into these markets. People ain't going to be able to throw 20,000, 50,000, 100,000 in unless you come up with some great businesses and they have some great months or something like that. But you're more than likely the average person, what the average person can do is, okay, this check is $1,000. My bills is $800. Th this check is a thousand dollars. My bills is eight hundred dollars. I put this last hundred. I put a hundred dollars into the stocks, and you know I'll spend this hundred. You know something like that, where you handle your bills with eight hundred from one check. You 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 put you invest one hundred, and then like that's all that's all most people will be able to do. But that adds up. Do that over a long enough period of time, you'll find the success that you're looking for. You'll realize that it's added up, and you keep these habits of of not spending so much of your income. You, you keep these habits of not spending so much and you keep these habits, habits of investing in assets and not liabilities. And you'll look up, you'll have nothing draining money from you and everything is bringing you pennies, pennies, pennies. And so th then they starting to bring you dollars, dollars, dollars. And you'll look up and everything is compounding. Everything is compounding. All your efforts is compounding. All your, your months, days, months, and years of, you know, not trying to throw money in the club, not trying to buy every new gadget that comes out. Like anytime you want to to buy a new a new Apple product, if you just invested that money into Apple stock instead, you know, you would be making money instead instead of, you know, using it. Anytime you wanted to buy something you don't need off of Amazon, if you invested in the Amazon stock, you know, <laughs> imagine imagine where you go then. Imagine Imagine any time you want to do something that doesn't serve you, serve your highest per higher purpose and serve, you know, where you want to be in life. Imagine if you replace that with something more positive. So you you could really change your life just by simple, small decisions like like everything compounds. Like when you go to the gym and you work out like, no, you're not going to you're not going to see results the first day. You're not going to see results the second day, maybe not even the first week. But you keep going every single day. You keep doing it every single, single day. Eventually. You look up and, and you have changed. You have transformed. Certain workouts is easier. Your body's starting to look different. You're stronger. You're 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 smarter. Like it, it's starting to impact you and change you because all that work that you're putting in is compounding. So yeah, it, everything in life works like that. If you if you put if one day you say, you know what, my alarm went off, I'm gonna hit snooze. Then the next day you the, your alarm goes off, you're gonna hit snooze you're compounding bad habits. So by the time a month comes in, it's very likely that you're just going to be used to hitting snooze and you might have upgraded to hitting snooze twice. You know, like that that's just what happens. You can compound and, and compound in a good direction or compound and compound in a bad direction. You, you are the one who's controlling you. You're controlling your life. You're in control of which way your life compounds. So use the positive things you take the take the positive path. Take whatever is positive for you, whatever is most ben, most beneficial for you. But yeah, I feel like a lot of people don't want to, you know, be trapped in a place that that's not full of abundance. And everyone can have an abundant life. You just have to sacrifice certain things that don't lead to abundance. You can't try to live above your means before you get to that level. Because a lot of the people who buy and fancy stuff, the wiser people who's buying all this fancy stuff and cars and stuff like that, 
if you're the wisest people, those cars are like pennies to them. If you put it into perspective, those cars, the lifestyle and all that stuff, the people who should be living that, that stuff is pennies to them. So you spending your whole life savings for something compared to somebody who just, oh, that's a dollar. Let me, let me just give out this dollar. That's how much wealth some people, like if Elon Musk was to live the lifestyle most of these YouTubers are living, like it's not even a dent in a, in a slightest fraction of maybe a day's income for him. But if, when, when these YouTubers do it, it's usually everything that they've, you know, worked for this entire time and their plan is to use that asset to make themselves look more flashy and then people watch their content to see more flashy stuff. And I mean, sometimes it works and maybe it doesn't, but who knows? Like, But at least they're trying to, you know, they're trying to, they're trying to make it an investment. They're trying to buy the things that they like and then use it to make more money. So that's still a better mindset than if you just, if you weren't trying to make things assets or buy more assets. So yeah, just have more assets than liabilities. It, it's really that simple. But yeah, let me know what you all think. Let me know some of your tips, your advice in the comment section down below. And yeah, I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.